Kevin Nash did what he does best, which is work all of us marks up a couple of days ago by talking about how L.A. Knight is nothing more than a cheap imitation or ripoff of The Rock. And as you can imagine, for a guy like L.A. Knight who's pretty well over right now, that didn't seem to go too well with a lot of folks. And, you know, it's funny. Like, there's no disrespect to Kevin Nash, because I totally get where he's coming from. Because the reality is, Kevin Nash is right. L.A. Knight is a ripoff of The Rock. Just like the NWO, here's the irony, was a ripoff of a New Japan faction. Keep me honest there, folks. Was it not? Like, that's how wrestling works. That's how sports work. That's how movies work, TV shows, entertainment works. Like, how many truly, truly original acts do you have? I mean, if you think about it, like you could say, well, Michael Jordan was unique. Yeah, but he still had elements that he took from, took his game from other players, right? Like, there were things he wanted to pattern himself after Dr. J, right? I mean, Kobe Bryant was obviously an imitation of Michael Jordan. And that's not a disrespect to Kobe. He's one of the 10 greatest players in NBA history. He's one of the legit icons of the game, and it totally removed from him tragically passing away back in January 2020. He's legit one of the biggest icons in the history of the NBA. And Kobe will tell you, he stole all of Michael's shit, right? Michael will tell you, he stole all of his shit. We talk about the greatest, Muhammad Ali. He talked about how he stole a lot of his shtick from Gorgeous George. Now there's probably somebody you can look at in the history of professional wrestling and say, well, they were largely original. You could say Vince McMahon, for the most part, was largely original in terms of being that heel authority figure on camera to the way that he was and the way that he was involved and how intricately involved he was with the company on their presentation on television for so long. But the whole thing is like, I get where Kevin Nash is coming from because yeah, you see it and you're like, this feels like a bit of a cheesy knockoff of The Rock. But shit, it works. And rare is it that we actually get true originals in professional wrestling. Therefore, you pattern yourself after the people that came before you. You lift and shift, you tweak, you take, you make it your own. It wasn't like Stone Cold Steve Austin was the first wrestler to ever drink a beer. Like you could just point to Sandman was doing that shit in ECW before Austin ever did it in the WWF. I mean, you could go on and on and on. Hulk Hogan was nothing more than a superstar Billy Graham ripoff in a lot of ways, and certainly Jesse the Body Ventura was. Ric Flair was a ripoff of the Nature Boy Buddy Rogers up to and including the Nature Boy frickin' moniker. Like, wrestling is full of ripoffs in imitations, and some better than others. Like, you look at the Young Bucks. You know, as much as I'm not a fan of them, you could certainly see elements of the Rockers in them and the Hardy Boys in them, and some of it on the wrong side, but it's there. And they have taken that and made a very successful career for themselves, independent of whether or not I'm a fan of this, and I'm absolutely not, right? But I cannot deny that they have been very successful in their career, and they certainly are not original. They aren't. See, Young Punk is original? Bullshit. He took shit from guys like Roddy Roddy Piper, Stone Cold. Like, you see little pieces and elements there, right? I mean, Brian Danielson certainly borrowed things from Benoit, Dean Malenko, Shawn Michaels. Again, I could go on and on and on. John Moxley tries to be this weird amalgamation of like Roddy Piper and Terry Funk, and I think it fucking sucks. But shit, it's working for him. He's getting paid, and a lot of AEW fans seem to really dig this shit. So it's working, no matter how stupid and dumb the act really is. 
But that's the thing. It's not about whether it's a ripoff or an imitation because most all of the shit you see, especially in professional wrestling, but again, it's not unique to professional wrestling. You've seen it in some incantation, some form or shape before. It's about how well it is done. You get what I'm saying? It is about how well you do it because there are very, very, very few Truly original acts. Now, if you think back in however long you've been a wrestling fan, how many times can you really say this character was truly 100% unique? Like their own creation, Undertaker's not unique. There were different elements from different characters borrowed. You know, Kane, you could even say, borrowed some things from The Undertaker, borrowed some things from other characters. Right? Like so many of these top stars that you've seen throughout your lifetime as a wrestling fan were ripoffs. You gonna tell me John Cena didn't glean some things from Warrior and Hogan? Give me a fucking break. If you do it well, <laughs> it's all good because in some cases you can take the original and make it even better. You can make it your own and present it to a new generation in a slightly different way. So when Kevin Nash says that L.A. Knight is a ripoff of The Rock, he's not fucking wrong. And I don't understand why that would piss so many people off. You're like, well, it's the way he said it and the timing of it, you know, because L.A. Knight's really over right now. Okay, so what? Frankly, I wish more guys and gals that were getting into wrestling tried to pattern themselves as the true, against like the true best to ever do it, right? Like you wish people would be able to work the microphone and tell a story and be a character like a Mick Foley, like a Terry Funk, like a you can go on and on and on. I would much rather, and I don't even mean any offense to the young bucks here, but I'm using them as one example of many. They're a proxy for a lot of the infestation of the business for these spot guys. If you told me that you're wanting to get into wrestling, you want to pattern yourself after The Rock? Boy, that's a pretty fucking good standard to try and live up to. That's a pretty good shtick to try and borrow from. You see, like, Ricky Starks does it certainly in AEW back in the day. Monty Brown, the alpha male, pounce, baby. Don't tell me he didn't take some shit from The Rock. Hell yeah. You should. You absolutely should. Frankly, frankly, the business would be a lot better off today if the wrestlers in the business now, and especially those that are coming into the fold and getting ready to come in the fold, spent more time actually studying the legends of the past, learning from the history of wrestling, learning from those characters saying, hey, I can take that and I can tweak this and I can change that and I can make it my own shit and make it even better. Like for as many people that can't talk on the microphone in wrestling today, which is at least 90% of the fucking industry, every single damn one of them should be learning how to be somebody like a Bret Hart. Again, not the biggest Bret Hart fan in the world, but if Bret Hart was around today, guaranteed one of the top two or three stars in all of professional wrestling. you goddamn right he is. Because his shit looked believable. You believed in Bret. That fucker was real. He could make shit feel real. And later on down the road, when he developed his character, like it was phenomenal. Imagine if more guys and gals could do that shit. So we shouldn't be crying about Kevin Nash talking about, oh, he's a ripoff. Well, Kevin Nash would know because he made a shit ton of money ripping off a gimmick and damn self. And there's no bad actors here. That's the nature of the game. Think about how many musicians borrow shit and flat out steal shit from others, right? You know, I could go back and you could talk about Vanilla Ice. And what, what did he mix, use as the mix for his beat for Ice Ice Baby? Right? Like, that shit happens. You lift, you borrow, you take, you make your own. 
So as far as LA Knight goes, more power to him for trying to rip off the rock and put his own goddamn spin on it. I frankly wish more damn wrestlers would try to be more like Jake the Snake Roberts and Sting and Diamond Dallas Page and The Rock. Try to be like the Macho Man Randy Savage. Try to be like the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, baby. Try to be like the icons. And don't do it in a totally blatant ripoff way, but lift and borrow some of that shit? You're damn right. Because L.I. L.A. Knight, I swear he's a ripoff of that Eli Drake guy. Hmm. But if you think about it, it's put him in a position where a lot of people were really disappointed that he didn't win at Money in the Bank. A lot of people are now going to be pining for him to win the Royal Rumble. So whatever shit he's doing, it's fucking working. And I frankly wish that more wrestlers in the business now, coming into the business again, would take a look at the true best of the best at all time and pattern themselves more after that shit. Learn how to be characters and personalities. Learn how to tell stories. Learn how to be larger than life. Learn how to make people fucking believe. Learn how to make people buy into you and what you are selling them. I give props to L.A. Knight. He figured out how shit really goes. Ooh, he's not very original. Original, my ass. Most of your acts in wrestling in history have not been originals. They've been copycats in some way, shape, or form.